When working with image models, also known as diffusion models, your hardware plays a significant role. Unlike large language models, running image models on a CPU can be extremely slow. But don't worry, we've got solutions for that. If you have a GPU with 4 to 6 GB VRAM, consider using models based on Stable Diffusion 1.5. If you have a GPU with more than 6 GB VRAM, choose SDXL-based models. SDXL-based models generate higher resolution images, but may be slower. SDXL low-step models generate high resolution images quickly and can run on a CPU with fewer steps. It's slow, but still manageable. SD 1.5, small models, ideal for upscaling workflows and speed, but may not produce the highest resolution images. SD 1.5, low step models. This is a smaller variant of the SD 1.5 model designed for a faster low step workflow. It offers the same features as SD 1.5, but operates at a higher speed. There are tons of apps for running models, but I will only list a few that are user-friendly and easy to install. Easy to use option. Jellybox is a great choice, as it can run both LLM and image models. Advanced option. Comfy UI is a powerful tool that uses a node workflow. It can run models on CPU, making it a great option if you don't have a GPU. The default workflow is perfect for generating images. Hugging Face, a popular platform for finding any kind of AI models. Civet AI, another great resource for finding models, with filters for model type, Dura style, and more. The model you would use won't have everything in it, and training it again costs money and computation. So, LoRa's are small models that go on top of the main model to add additional knowledge to it. Most other apps for running image models also have options to use LoRa in them, and there are tons of LoRa's you can find online. 